Welcome. We have here a 12 volt battery attached to an array of capacitors and we want to find what's going on with each of these capacitors. So we're going to ask ourselves to find the charge over the 6 microfarad, the delta V over the 6 microfarad, the charge over the 4, the delta V over the 4, the charge over the 8, and the delta V over the 8. So one thing that we could do is we could use the Kirchhoff's loop rules and junction rules to solve for all of this. But if we have one battery and only one battery, then it's oftentimes nicer to use the equivalent capacitor rules. So one thing we can do to start is to redraw this circuit as just something slightly simpler. We can see that these two capacitors are in parallel, so we can keep our six microfarad, but we can rewrite both of them as just a single capacitor. Well, we know that they are in parallel, so we have C1, 4 microfarads plus C2, 8 microfarads, and that gives me 12 microfarads. So I can write this as 12 microfarads. My job isn't quite done yet because, right, I can still write it even simpler. Still have my battery, but now I can combine these two. And I know that they are in series, so I have 1 over 6 microfarads plus 1 over 12 microfarads to the negative 1. Well, I can, instead of writing uh, six, 1 6, I can write 2 12, so I have 2 over 12 microfarads plus 1 over 12 microfarads all to the minus 1. That gets me 3 over 12 microfarads to the negative 1, or it gets me that the equivalent capacitance is 12 divided by 3, which is 4 microfarads. So I can rewrite this as 4 microfarads with a 12 volt battery. If I do that, then I can use my voltage rule. Well, I know that whatever I go up the battery, I have to go down this one. So I have 12 volts equals then the charge on our plates over the capacitance for microfarads. So this will give me the charge is 48 microcoulombs. And now I can go back here. So this one was gotten through a series rule. So I know that my series have the same charge. So now I know that my charge on capacitor 6 is 48 microcoulombs. And I can go through and I can use this voltage again. So I can look at the delta V over the 6 microfarad is going to be its charge, 48 microcoulombs, over its capacitance, 6 microfarads. 48 divided by 6 gets me that delta V6 is 8 volts. So now I can go back here, and I know that I drop 8 volts here. So then I have to drop the remaining parts of the 12 volts here. So 8 minus 12 gives me 4. 8 minus 12 gives me 4. So now I know the voltage over 4 and 8 is 4 volts and 4 volts. That's really nice because my parallel has to have the same voltage drop. Well, just a little bit left to go, right? I need to find the delta V for both of these. Well, I know for the 4, it's then 4 volts is the charge over the 4 microfarad times 4 microfarads. 4 times 4 gets me 16 microcoulombs. And then lastly, I can do that for my Q8. So I have still 4 volts is the charge over the 8 microfarad capacitor times 8 microfarads. 4 times 8 gets me 32. 32 microcoulombs. So this is how we use our systems to find right, all of these different charges, all of these different voltage drops, 
by building up to as simple of a circuit as possible and building back to the original circuit.